Hey guys, Joshua Peterson here, Peterson Electric. Want to talk to you today about um, a spa that's getting installed, concrete's getting poured. Um, it's going to be underneath equal potential grounding in Article 680.25, as well as other code articles that apply. Um, you'll probably try to see me wear a lot more safety glasses and gloves when I'm doing videos, so that way you guys can see that I'm practicing safe. I'll do another video on that for somebody um, who is totally offended about us doing a video and uh, doing some work. So anyways, I got to practice that more. Um, and then anyways, I'm going to show you real quickly about this. It is September 2020. We had to add a sub panel here out of this panel, 70 amps. Had to scoot a couple breakers. Labeled it. Uh, the panel is off right now because the breaker's off. And so this is our new 50 amp spa. We had to move the AC unit over and then we added a plug. Okay. And there's the cover. The inspector's coming here today. So we're going to leave that off. Plugs extra hard duty. WR rated GFCI protected. I'm sorry if you can't hear me. They're cutting today. So we piped it here. Came across. Came up into a disconnect. The spa is going to go right here. And you have to be further than five foot. I would say six foot when the cover is open. GFCI protected. And because this is cement, the customer is going to help me with this today because they're not ready for me. But we got this ready to go. This will circle and compass the hot tub. The correct acidic clamps. We took a meter here. Checked our potential between the number 10 and copper is the same. Between the ground and the neutral is the same. This was an AC disconnect. We thought we were going to use it for the tub when he pre-wired it. They got the house pre-wired. But it's a number four aluminum, or excuse me, number eight aluminum. It's not big enough for a hot tub. Unless you go with like a really small hot tub. So we went ahead and we're going to use this instead as a kitchen. In two years, he's going to build an island here. All by itself, standalone. So we're getting this conduit inspected. And then once they level, he'll put this up and tape it. Our grounding for our metal studs and for our whole kitchen. And then right here, to bond to that, that ground as well. And then he'll just tape the number four next to it. Got our slip joints installed and taped. And so that's ready to go. They'll have to take that out and roll up the wire so they can level and then put it back when they put the rebar. So there's a lot of customers that call me after the fact the cement was poured. There's nothing I can do. You may not even be able to get a permit to pass if they see new cement. So this video is to try to help you realize that before you pour and you're putting a hot tub with reinforcement rebar, you need to actually be able to have that bonded. So that is an equal potential ground. And um, if you don't have that in, that's going to be a concern for later. But again, that's a stub up for a kitchen. Here's the hot tub. There'll be a shed right here. Make sure the disconnect's not behind the shed. Can't be over the window well. So we are to the edge where the tub is. I wanted the tub further out, but they didn't, they didn't want to do that. And so everything went here to put in a new sub panel as well. So as far as our visits, it was three visits for this. Because once he gets the hot tub, which is eight months out because of COVID, we'll actually come back and do the hot tub. Now, I didn't pull a separate permit. I normally would have. But because I don't want to babysit that permit because he's waiting on the hot tub and then the funds to do the kitchen area, it's his responsibility to keep that open. And I will let them attach to me as long as I know the city knows that I'm current on my license with them. And then I've also 
um, you usually want to check that we have insurance as well. But then basically, uh, yeah, he'll just let me know how things are going in his timing, not my own. All right, thanks for joining us, guys.